Manny, uh, I, I know it's a small sample size, but your first team unit, the way that they've played so far, I know you had the 10 minutes against LSU you weren't happy with. These, what they've shown you in these four games, are they better than, than maybe the first team unit you had last year? My, my coach instinct says it's too early in the season to compare, but in terms of have they done what we've asked them to do, uh, more often than not, the answer has been absolutely yes. And, and we are showing um, we're, we're showing more dominance than we did a year ago because our run defense did not start off great last year and obviously we're much better on third down. So like our number of snaps is just, the, the, the number of snaps we're playing on defense this year coming to last year is just is, is amazing. Kenny, just the challenge of this week. I mean, did you come straight from Hard Rock over here to start work or we don't, Saturday night? Uh, no, but we're on our iPads, you know, you can, you can, you can work without being in the office so and, and, and truth be told we, we had watched I'd, I'd already watched these guys last week so um, um, conference opponent you, you kind of have an idea who they are we've got to, we, now we've got to pass this or against each other they kind of know who we are so that helps on a short week of preparation uh, we have a lot of respect for the way that they coach and the scheme they have offensively and and like you saw last week against Pitt they can uh, when they're when, the, when they're clicking, they can score a lot of points. Imagine how about the challenge of, I mean, they've had some guys be out of their lineup that will probably, you know, will be back there Thursday. Right. How, how does that change things? Well, it's going to, we, we probably can't predict the way it's going to change them, you know, what kind of impact it has. Um, you know, certainly you want you want to have all the, um, the players you can have at your disposal. But, uh, but for us, you know, we have to defend who's in front of us, the formations, the plays, all that type of stuff. Uh, generally speaking, won't change too much, so it's just about us uh, taking care of our assignments. Amari's uh, performance on Saturday, just what did you enjoy most about it? Uh, calm, under control, um, made all the checks. You know, like I said, Am Amari's a very intelligent player. He played like a smart guy. You know what I mean? He played like he knew what was going on, knew what the play was going to be before it happened. Uh, the play where he almost made the pick on our sideline, he knew the route that was coming, you know, and sort of was almost, almost baited the quarterback to throw it to the guy. And um, we, we know that Amari will tackle and he, and he runs the ball and it's tough and those type of things. So he just, he, he looked like a starter, which was encouraging to see. Andy, you've been around college football a long time. How do you um, explain some of the things that are going on out there on the outside world, you know, Old Dominion beating Virginia Tech? Well, uh, there's no doubt that we love to make narratives in college football. I promise you, we wake up on a different Saturday every week. It just, you, you cannot, what happened last Saturday and this team beat that team, therefore that team is this good and so on and so forth. It, it's a different world every Saturday. And, and the, the biggest mistake we make, all of us, is we make assumptions based off of past performance. Teams get better. Um, teams don't play their best. You know, teams sometimes aren't ready to play. And, and that is the... the, the, the I've said this before as an individual, but as a team, greatness is about being consistently good. And that's the hardest thing to do, is to just be the best team on the field for 12 straight Saturdays. So, I, you know, we know that there's more parity. That's why even what, you know, with what we did to FIU on Saturday, there's no, but you played this team. What we, the way we talk about our guys, there is no other team. There's how we play. It's not who we play, it's how we play. When we play well, we play well versus whoever we play. When we play poorly, we look bad no matter who we play against. So. Um, but teams, but that's a hard struggle. We talk about that, but in the outside world, everyone's talking about external things. Oh, but you're playing this team. They're good. They're bad. This player's good. This player's bad. You know, and those things are outside of our control. We haven't seen, and we saw a turnover chain once on Saturday, but even though you're not creating the turnovers, do you still feel like what you're getting is, is good enough or, or elite? We want more. I mean, it's yeah. only to be at an elite level, but, but, um, but at times what you're noticing is, um, you know, are, are we are, are we are we are we still playing violently? Are, are we forcing fumbles? You know, um, Gervin forced a fumble that didn't count on the official stats. Um, are we getting after the quarterback to make the quarterback make poor decisions? You know, and, and sometimes I always say the quarterback can decide that by getting sacked or by throwing the ball away or those type of things. So as long as we're taking advantage of our opportunities, um, we know that those things will come. That play by Gervin, that hit. I mean, how much does that just fire everybody else up? And when you can see something like that and him make a play like that. We saw that. I mean, you, you saw it on the whole sideline. We actually showed the video of that in our defensive team meeting, and we, and we showed the impact of everybody on the sideline. You know, there were guys that weren't watching. All of a sudden, you know, everybody looks up. And, you know, what was that? And uh, and that's that. You know, that's how you make a name. You know, you got to make those plays that you know the people in the stands that you know spill their popcorn. Hey, well, who is that? You know, and, and that's how they remembered you. Now, now that's your high end play, and, we, and we've seen this for three years with our freshmen. Okay, now what's your consistency level like?
We know you can make a play. That's why we recruit you. That's why we love that you're here. Now can you be that guy down after down? You're not judged by your by your high end plays. You're really judged, especially in the back end, by your how many mistakes you can make. Because mistakes in the back end turn into touchdowns. And Garvin's a guy that's really getting more confident in our scheme. And we really feel good about him and Redwine at our field safety position. I was going to say, have you started to see that progress from him? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. And that's why that's why he's pushing for more snaps. You know, but like I said, we with uh, with Redwine and all the major Quan. That, that's it's the way it should work, right? You should have a freshman learning under a senior who's playing at a very high level, and you know, one day that'll be Gervin. You know, what I mean, we'll have some you know other big time guy, and that, that's that's how big times big time programs replenish their their depth. You know, what I mean, because they learn. I want to be like you one day. That first Last FIU touchdown, uh, who was supposed to stay with the receiver on that? Me. <laughs> that, was, that was me. No, I mean, it, does, it doesn't matter who, but, I mean, obviously, obviously it's a moment. major, major error. But, you know, uh, like I said, when, when the young guys go in and they make those mistakes, now they understand. Because out here we fuss at them and they're like, ah, coach, you're just crazy. And then all of a sudden we invited, you know, 50,000 people and they saw us bust coverages for touchdowns. So now... Just that little difference. Oh, I see. I see why coach makes a big deal about that. And uh, you know, and and that's you know that urgency is what playing in the secondary is all about. That seems like it's so obvious, but but it, it is it is not just something that most players walk in with. And they have to understand the the, the urgency it takes to play every day and every down in the secondary. Awesome. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.